Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Code Prime. In this video, we are going to learn this CSS box shadow in this basic CSS tutorial series. So we are going to learn the CSS box shadow and we are going to explain this all everything the CSS box shadow. So first of all, let me show that CSS is working for the outset and the inset and there is inset property. And now here we can see an example of this CSS box shadow. You can see there is a box shadow example there. You can see this is a background color that we have written this red color and there is a box shadow you can see. There's a box shadow you can see outer layer the outset here you can see a blue color shadow is going here and inside also a green blue color shadow here this is the inset shadow so we are going to learn this explain that is how it's actually working this how we can learn this from the basic shadow to advanced shadow when you are going to make some designing for this class morphism or advanced design mode in css so then you can use that this two property that is outside basically we use but this inset is very important that whenever you are going to make a creative and basic advanced designing so let's start this video right now here here you can see i have opened my vs code editor and here you can see i have added a title that is css box shadow by code prime Marvelish. so here now i'm going to this explain that's how we can work in here so first of all i'm going to take a box classes here so dot box after adding this class name here so now i'm going to copy that box classes property that is box so after this HTML file here I'm using that opening that style file and this is the internal HTML style CSS so after this and we're going to take this now adding this class here now here I'm going to writing some CSS for example first of all I'm going to add a width that is here I'm going to make it 200 pixel and then also the height also the same so I'm going to make a circle type like 200 pixel and here I'm going to add a background color so here background color it will be red now here i'm going to add a border radius so that it can be a good looking shape and here i'm going to make it the 5 pixel now just pressing the save this file and you can see that output you can see here but we're going to make it in the center item so now we'll be set some margin here so here i'm going to write some margin here that is i'm going to writing this 30 vas it will be the particle height from the top and bottom and the left and right will be auto now save this file and you can see it has gone to this center here so now we are going to apply this box shadow property so here i'm just writing the box shadow simply this box shadow the property name is box shadow after writing this box shadow so now here first of all we are going to looking for the outset shadow so for this outset by default it was outset you don't need to write that any outset property here so here we just simply just writing the property here is a zero 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 and zero another one and then the color code so here I'm writing the color is blue. Now save this file. There you can see there is no effect is here. But there is the very important thing that is why, why we added this three property three zero here. And this is what is the main here. So you can see the first zero it was work for this right and left. And the second zero is working for this bottom and top and bottom. And this one the last zero and it was work for the both sided. So now I'm going to give you that example one by one. So first of all here I'm going to make this both sided. So this is the last one. So this is the Z. The Z property here it was I'm going to make it the Z so I'm just telling this another thing that this is for X axis and this is Y axis and this is the Z axis so for the Z axis here I'm just writing the 10 pixel so it will be okay let me make some space zero remove here now save this file you can see a box shadow is going to this outer this so let me increase the size so this can be visible goodly so you can see that box shadow is working a color shadow that is blue color and it was working with the outside of this both sided so this was for the z axis and it was working for the both sides of it so now let me this just uh, the invisible okay let me just put it zero right now here now we're going to access this x direction property so here we are going to make it a 10 pixel and save this file you can see it was going to this right side is so x direction the plus property there as you can see and now we're going to write in this the minus property so it will be the x the opposite direction now save this file and this will box shadow will be come to the right left side you can see so this is the access property this way we can move the plus minus will be the x direction left right and left we can move this by this opposite direction the opposite sign so now i'm just making this also zero here right now so now we're going to check out that the y axis property so here y axis also the same way that is whenever we're going to this plus so it will be the y axis you can see here okay now just let me map it and save this file you can see that it was good in this bottom first of all whenever we're going to the plus property it will be the bottom and when we are going to this opposite sign minus 
and it will be go to the top section so this way you can move that box shadow like in this way but here is whenever you are going to move this lighting directly it will be not looking good so that's why you should enable the z shadow so here i'm just writing a 10 pixel okay not 10 20 pixel and save this file but you can see it was very audit but it was very looking this very moved here so i'm going to make it the 5 pixel and here you can see now it is looking like good so for example if you want to move them here so you can access and move them easily from them so first of all here i'm just making them a simple box shadow for this outset 0 0 20 pixel and save it so now this is the outset shadow is completed here so now if we're going to this in the same line it the inset property in here so you can write here directly the inset if you want only the more inset shadow but whenever you're going to writing this some creative design so that means it was need the box side that is outside the shadow and this also the inset shadow so this can be created very gorgeous look here so here after this uh, this line of this shadow here just enter a comma and line breakdown or if you don't break doesn't matter but we will for this good looking so we are just making this breakdown here so after making this so here we just need to write there the inset so after inset and space take a space the same way as we access the outset it's also the same three that is x y z and then we are going to write in that color that is blue and save this it was nothing working so we just need to access first of all this x direction if we access the positive this 10 direction it will be you can see from this that it was working for totally different of the outside it that outside shadow it was totally inside will be different to working here whenever we're going to plus but on the outside it if we're going to plus this for the first of all this x axis it will be on the right side it. but whenever we're going to using that inset so it will be a mirror duplicate places here it will be totally different and opposite direction it was going to whenever we're going to make this minus and it will be go to this right side you can see this is the moving section here so now this is the same way as you move them also this 10 pixel and save this file it was going to top and whenever we're going to make him minus it will be go to the bottom here and there is one another thing that whenever we're going to so let me first make them zero so that this can be visible goodly so here this is the set xx property so here we are going to make this 10 pixel and it will work up from the bot side and it will be the inner side you can see that inner side was make some little bit of shadow you can see so let me make increase the size so that it can be visible so you can see like this way this is the inset shadow is working so whenever you are going to creating some advanced mode creating designing so that places you can use that property for this inside and box shadow and it will be do very good looking for the glass morphism designs and much more so you can use that and try to this but export it and this you can make the practice for this good practice and if you need any inquiry about it and if you need any help about it you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoyed this tutorial please like on this video and share it with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon